Hello everyone. So I hope you are in best of your health and enjoying your studies at the moment. So we have to form partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constant. So let's uh, assume this as our equation number one. So as usual, the first step will be to partially differentiate with respect to x, uh, taking y as constant. So partially. differentiate with respect to x taking y as constant fine so you will get del z by del x which is also p to be equal to second and third term will vanish because their derivative is zero because you are treating y as constant and b is anyway zero a b and a are anyway constant so you will get a from here mark this as equation number 2 again partially uh here you need to write equation number 1 so partially differentiate equation number 2 sorry equation number 1 only with respect to y this time taking x as constant so you will get del z by del y which is also your q and that will be equal to simply a because again ax constant for this case b is constant so their derivative will be zero coming to the middle term derivative of ay with respect to y that is going to give you so this becomes your equation number 3 now putting uh, the you have uh, got uh, everything in terms of a okay so how will we eliminate the value of their uh, b how we are going to eliminate the value of b so sometimes we don't need to go back to equation number 1 okay sometimes it so happens that from equation number 2 and 3 only you are able to get a a very good uh, differential equation how let's see p equals to a and q equals to a so from 2 and 3 we can say that uh, p equals to q because p and q both are equal to a so they must be equal it's a simple mathematics so p equals to q is the solution of this equation so later on when you will solve uh, pd so when you will get this question p equals to q the solution will come out to be z equals to x plus b y a x plus a y plus b okay so i hope you understood it okay Thanks and have a very nice day.